Hello, this is Justo Arbajo from CNC Module Kit. This is the introduction of uh, setup, configuration, and test running of the inverter, the uh, Fallon inverter, 3.7 kilowatts with a spineless 3 kilowatts air cooling from GMT. Uh, next, uh, we will make in three steps. First step is a wiring. We will make all the wiring, including the USB mastery uh, breakout board. The second step will be uh, parameters. Set up the parameters in the inverter, in the folding inverter. And the third, and the third step will be uh, set up uh, in mastery and testing in mastery, changing the speed. Wiring. Well, the first is uh, uh, remove the, uh, the cover of the inverter. Have another cover here for the cables. So we have already made the wiring. We can see here 220 in in uh, R and T, 220 uh, single phase. Uh, so we take it from the power with one switch and uh, full phase uh, uh, recommendable. Then here we have, we make a, we made a one cable for the spine layer already. Uh, uh, the cable is uh, for wires, uh, UVW is uh, red, green, and black in this order. This order is uh, red uh, go to U, green go to V, and black go to W. Uh, the yellow color here has one small, yellow color is the earth, we didn't connect now. And go to the spine leg, to the connector of the spine leg in the back side. This is the wiring for control. The wiring for control is with four cables. We choose a green, black, orange, and yellow. Uh, this uh, cable is connected to the breakout board uh, also. Then, uh, the green color we connect to S1, that uh, is for control the forward, is for control the, the, the start up, the, the spine to, to spin, or uh, control also to stop. Uh, the black color uh, go to CMT, that is the common digital, digital uh, sign and common for, for the forward control. And then the orange color we connect here to VI. VI also use one resistor, 1K resistor, huh? between VI and 10V. 10 volts uh, connection in, the, in this port. Uh, so we have connect one leg of the resistor to 10V, uh, another leg to VI. Together, in VI, we connect the orange color, that is the uh, Mm, PWM sign up. The yellow color we have we have connected to ACM. ACM is the common signal for the control the speed with uh, the orange color Y. Then if we look at the breakout board, in the breakout board we have connected the green color, so the the wire that go to S1 in the inverter, we have connected to the 5 port, output port. As well, we have connected uh, orange, orange wire that they go to VI in the inverter, we have connected to uh, PWM in, in the board. There you can see PWM. 
and uh, yellow and black we have connected to GND. That's is all the waiting waiting for uh, control the inverter. Well, first of all, we power on the inverter. Here is the menu. Uh, the menu has uh, several keys, uh, row up, row up, row down, for go up or down the values. Run is uh, just for uh, make the spill uh, uh, running and stop here. And have here another two keys, one is for program or the parameters program escape and the another is function data that is for change in the label of the menu the menu of the parameters uh, first of all we should change the parameters and the parameters that first we should introduce is the motor uh, spinal parameters the motor spinal parameter is the f1 o1 to the to the f1 o5 so first we press program, we have F0, so we need to change F1. Uh, I press up the key, now we are in F1, mm, and press here function. Then we are in the label of F1 parameters. Now we grow up to the number one, uh, that is uh, the power of the spindle, and then here we press function. Now come with 3.7 kilowatts work by default, so we go down with the row to 3 kilowatts because the spinal is 3 kilowatts and function again. Automatically go to the parameter F102 and then function. We have here is 400 is the rated frequency of the spinal and the rate of frequency of the spinal because it's 18,000 RPM is 300 so we change to 300 for change the digits uh, directions the first digit we pulse here jog and then we can change directly the first digit hmm? press the function again we are in the number 3 and the number 3 is um, rated RPM. In this case he calculate directly is 18,000. Then we press function again, go to number 4, F104, function, and here is the power, the, the uh, volts, huh? the power. Here I say 200, but it's 220, so we change to 220. Two hundred twenty and function. We are uh, in the F one o five. So in the F one o five, talk about sixteen. And sixteen is the current that comes from the fault, but not uh, the current of our spinal is eleven point four. So we will change. Eleven. Point four. Okay. Then uh, that's all the parameters for the motor. The next parameter that we should change is in the level F O. So we press program. We go down to the level F O and press function. Then we are in the first parameter of F O, and we should change the F01. The F01 say to the inverter in uh, how to control if it's in the keyboard, if it's in the internal terminal or any other. Then, or by the communication port, for example. Then uh, the, val the value uh, 
1 in this parameter and F001 uh, say that the control is in the terminal board. Mm? Knowing the keyboard if, is by terminal, so by computer. The another parameter important that we didn't say before is the parameter F003. Is where we say in which terminal we will control the speed. So we go to in F0 level, we want to change the parameter 3. For VI control, uh, this analogic volts control is number one. Now, yes, is controlled by VY, by computer. Well, this is a mass three configuration. In the mass three configuration, we should go first to config the output signals. In the output signals, we put uh, one mark in green, number one, huh? output, and we put a pin five. This is the forward signal, and then we mark here in pin number five, and mark the active low. We are here in the uh, output signals, and in a, spin, in a spineless setup, we should mark here in clockwise M3, output, output number one. In a counter uh, clockwise, that is the, in the reverse direction, in this kind of spinal is forbidden. Don't should use in reverse direction, never. So it's better don't set up anything, any output uh, to reverse. In motor control, we should uh, mark use a spinal motor output and PWM control. Hmm? The PWM base frequency, I choose uh, 5. Apply. And we should uh, set up also ports and pins in the same situation in motor outputs. We have a spinlet, we should mark like enable, we should put a step pin 14, that is a PWM port, uh, uh, dear pin O, and here don't should mark, don't should mark the low active. For dear or for a step, low active don't should mark. Okay, accept. Also, the USB board have one plugin to config, and we can go to config, config plugins, and here we can see the Swiland Mastery USB motion card. If we press config, we can configure here if the the SRO percent that is the potentiometer that connect, is connected to the uh, breakout board. We are talking about this potentiometer that is connected here in the breakout board. We can have the control of the SRO percent eh, with this potentiometer if we set up in the plugin, if we set up here, that is external. But uh, normally for the good control, we don't set up this and we control internal then uh, we can control uh, better by S code in the G code. By the way, the pulse per rotate for the spinal I have to use one. Okay, so here press OK, here press OK, and uh, the pulleys, the speed pulleys to the config also. I have to uh, choose minimal speed in the pulley one, minimal speed O, maximum speed 18,000, 18, and the radio one. For more balance, uh, about the more precise uh, control of the speed, 
Well, okay, uh, you should learn mastery. After set up the mastery software, we can test how run. Well, uh, we have a here to go to the main screen. In the main screen, we can turn the spinely. On in this moment go very high because we have two fifteen thousand RPM. We can go down a little with the with the SOV control, and now we will go to the diagnostics screen of Mass Three. In this screen we can introduce here s codes like uh, for example the speed go to speed s uh, for example 2000 the spinal immediately go 2000 rpm or we can change here to 10,000 for example s 10,000 and the spinal will grow up to 10,000 Surely, we can control also in in, uh, in the main screen with the RSB because we have now in 36 percent. In fact, we don't don't go in the speed, but here you can control the speed as well. Hmm? For example, if we come back to the diagnostics screen and we can put here M5 it is a stop and then the spider start the rotation we can put uh, any other speed uh, as well like a 4000 for example now and the will don't move because uh, need M3 for a start again if we put M3 we go to 4000 In fact, is uh, play a little with the pulleys uh, relationship and uh, the inverter, and uh, with the with the SRV control, the SOB control. Huh? Okay, and here, stop. So this is the final test. Uh, all the inverters is set up already by default for work with this kind of the spine leg. And uh, don't need any setup um, uh, for parameters because already it's done. Uh, just uh, set up the mastery and uh, learn a little mastery how to balance the speed with the, with the inverter. That's all. Thank you very much. Goodbye.